Can you see a triangle in a circle? Can you? Well, he definitely could not. But I will show you a way where you can actually visualize it. In this session, we'll discuss about circles and areas related to circles. So let's start this in an interesting way. Now, what is the area of a circle? All of you know it's, it's pi r square. But have you ever wondered why it's pi r square? Let me help you visualize this in a very colorful way. So for that, let's take a circle. Keep on filling the circle with concentric circles like this, one inside the other. So now it's completely filled up. Now, let's consider the other extreme. If I take a single circle here, and if I cut the circle, if I straighten this out, I'll get a straight line. So what is a line? Line can be taken as a circle with infinite radius. If I use the same method here, this, these set of concentric circles, so you can see the colorful circles. If I just cut here, and if I just open it up, and if I keep it here, what's going to happen? The outermost circle here will become the bottom line, as you can see. And all the other inner circles will come one above the other as lines here with decreasing length. The outermost circle perimeter, if it is 2 pi r, the bottom line length will be 2 pi r. And the height here will be nothing but the radius of the outermost circle. So area of the circle, it's, it's very easy for all of you to understand, is nothing but area of this particular triangle. So I'm going to show you or I'm helping you visualize area of a circle using area of a triangle and an interesting connect, right? And this is how you're supposed to uh, learn and this is how, you, how you'll start liking it. So what is the area of the triangle here? Length here, the base here is 2 pi r. Height here is r. So we can directly write down half into 2 pi r into r, which is nothing but pi r square. Very easy and interesting, right? So this way we can visualize area of a circle using a triangle. And, and I'm sure you have not seen uh, area of a circle explained this way before. Now, one more thing which we can do is area of a circle can be visualized in a rectangle also, like some of you must have seen in some of the books. So how we can do that? Just to recap, you take a circle, cut the circle into multiple uh, sectors using diameters. Let's take 16 sectors like this. And if I number them as 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 16. Now, take each sector one by one. Like take the first sector, keep it upright, upright. Take the second sector and make it upside down and keep it next to each other. Third one, keep it upright. Fourth one, keep it upside down. And if, I, if you bring all of them one by one like this and keep it here, what we'll get here is nothing but a rectangle where you can see on top, you can see numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, up to 15, which is basically half of the sectors. Bottom also you'll see half, which is 2, 4, up to 16. So what you can easily understand is this complete, which is length of this nothing but the perimeter, which is 2 pi r. Here one side will be half of it because only half of the sectors are coming on top. So length here will become half of 2 pi r. Breadth of this rectangle, as you can easily visualize, is nothing but r. So area of this rectangle will be product of length and breadth, which is half of 2 pi r into r. So we'll get pi r square. So what we did here is nothing but area of a circle visualized using a rectangle. So this is also as easy as the previous explanation and very interesting. So now I'm sure you know, rather than just memorizing area of a sector, area of a circle as pi r square, we have just connected it with a triangle and understood uh, how we can visualize it as pi r square. We also visualized it using a rectangle. Again, we got pi r square. So when we connect and understand things like this, it becomes really interesting, right? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,